you. Good morning. I am Councilmember Helen Rosenthal, Chair of the Committee on Women. Today we're meeting to vote on Resolution 84, sponsored by the Public Advocate, Letitia James. The resolution urges the New York State Legislature to pass and the Governor to sign the Reproductive Health Act. As I've said before, an individual's right to choose to have an abortion is an essential component of their personal health, economic mobility, educational opportunities, and career aspirations. New York was once a leader in protecting these rights. In 1973, years before Roe v. Wade, our state was the first in the nation to legalize abortion. But there were some flaws in the original 1970 law. Passing the Reproductive Health Act would address many of those serious flaws. With the Reproductive Health Act, abortion will be regulated in the public health code rather than the penal code. Self-induced abortion will lo no longer be criminalized. The health of the pregnant person will be an exception to late-term abortion restrictions. It will be made clear that nurse pr practitioners, physician assistants, and licensed midwives can perform abortions. The testimony this committee received when the resolution was first heard on September 20th makes it clear why this matters. This is a basic health issue affecting individuals, families, and everyday New Yorkers. As State Senator Liz Kruger, the State Senate Bill's sponsor, put it in her testimony before this committee at our September 20th hearing, quote, this bill is critical. Even without being at the door of losing our rights, we are indeed at an emergency action, first responder stage, end quote. And it is time that the state take action. I would like to thank the staff of the Committee on Women, including Council Brenda McKinney, Policy Analyst Chloe Rivera, and, my, and Finance Analyst Daniel Krupp for all their help in preparing for this hearing, as well as my Legislative Director, Ned Terrace. I'd also like to acknowledge um, the committee members, Brad Lander, who is here, and ask Billy Martin to uh, call, uh, to do roll call. I would like to wait on calling him to do roll call until one more member is present. Thank you.
If the clerk could call the roll. <laughs> William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on women, resolution 84, Chair Rosenthal. I vote aye. Kalos. Aye. Lander. Enthusiastically aye. I vote of three in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Resolution has been adopted by the committee. Uh, I'd like to leave the vote open for um, until, uh, uh, hang on. I'd like to hold the boat open for 30 minutes more. Thank you. <laughs> 